Hello everyone, in today's tutorial, we'll see how to create an awesome double exposure animation or cinemagraph using Adobe Photoshop. Alright, so let's get to it. Alright, so let's go ahead and open Photoshop and then uh, take the image you will be using or you can use the same image. I will be using it here you will find it down in the link from the description below and now the first thing that we are going to do is to cut the model from the background so I will be using the quick selection tool to do that and I will try to make a selection it should be easy because we have a white background so just try to cover all the areas in here all right and now I'm gonna open the select and mask and I will try to improve uh, the hair selection as you can see we don't have a really good selection for the hair so we'll be using uh, the refined edge to do that but first I will make sure that smart radius is on and I will try to improve the hair selection or you know bring back some of the hair that we didn't select all right now and I will do the same for uh, the beard All right, now in this radius in here, I will put around 40 pixels to 30. And this will improve it even more. And I will press OK. All right, now we'll apply a layer mask uh, on this selection by one click on this layer mask icon. And as you can see, we have a layer mask in here. Now I'm going to press Alt or Option and I will one click on this layer mask. And this will allow me to enter the layer mask mode. And as you can see, we still have some gray in here and a little bit of uh, dark areas inside the white area in here which is our selection all right so we need to get rid of this grayness in here that we have using the dodge tool and the burn tool so i will uh, switch to my burn tool in here and in the range i will uh, put shadow and for the exposure i will put around 40 to 50 percent and i will start getting rid of this gray areas in here as you can see just like this and I will do the same in here try to find all this area that is gray in here all right now I will switch to uh, the dodge tool and I will do the same but this time I will make sure that the range set to highlights and the exposure set to 50 to 40 percent and I will go this time to the white area in here and I will get rid of this gray areas that we have All right, now we think that we have a decent selection, which is always good. And now we can exit from the layer mask by one click on this layer in here. And now we have our selection. All right, now I'm gonna create a new file. So we'll go to File, New, and I will put 1920 for the width, 1080 for the height, 300 in the resolution, and RGB in the color mode. And of course, you can choose whatever width and height you want. You can do that. And I will press OK. All right, now uh, I will switch to my move tool and then I will go and drag this image and open it in here. All right, now we'll zoom out and I will press Ctrl T or Command T and then I'm gonna press Shift Alt or you know Shift Option on a Mac and I will drag it down. So it will fit with the canvas and I will put it down a little bit so the shoulder will match and I will make it a little bit bigger. I will center it that's right here and then I would one click on this check mark all right now I'm gonna create a new background so I will select this background in here that it's white and I will go to adjustment and I will choose solid color and I will be using a gray color or maybe I will add a little bit of color to it maybe a bluish color I think blue it will be good well you know just a little bit of blue not blue blue so I'm gonna keep it like that and I will press ok all right and I will delete this old background all right now I'm gonna open the video file that I will be using which is this one and of course you can find it down in the link from description below you know 
just download this if you want to follow along and i will just take it and open it in here and it will open as a smart object and that's what we want so i'm gonna one click on this check mark to commit the change and then i'm gonna copy the same uh, layer mask that we have uh, in this one so to do that i will press alt or option on my keyboard and then i will hover above this layer mask and i will one click on it and drag it to this video file that we have in here and as you can see there is a little bit of preview of the layer mask which is mean that we're gonna make a copy of it and i will just let's go and there we go we have the same layer mask applied on this video file too now i'm gonna unlink this chain that we have in between uh, the video file in here and the layer mask so i will just one click on this chain and it will disappear which is mean that there is no link anymore now the reason why we did this so we can adjust or you know move this video file alone and we can do the same for the layer mask but we want to do it for uh, this video file so i'm gonna select it and i will press ctrl t or command t and i will make it bigger as you can see we have this road that i want it to be aligned with the shoulder of uh, the model and also with the neck so i'm gonna rotate it just a little bit and i will try to do that maybe i will make it bigger as you can see i want it to be this like this maybe i will rotate it even more and of course you can use whatever video you want or whatever position you want for this video but if you want to use the same as I, i'm using with the same idea i'm doing now you can do that all right i think this will look good so now we'll one click on this check mark to commit the change all right now i'm gonna make a copy of this uh, model layer in here again by pressing alt or option that will take a copy of it and put it on top and then i will change the blending mode of it to lighten all right now i need to delete uh, this part so we can see the road that we just adjusted so to do that we're gonna use a brush a regular brush and black as my foreground color and also i'm gonna make the opacity of the brush to around 25 percent all right and i will make sure that i'm selecting the layer mask and i will start deleting in here so we can see the road it's all about the road all right so something like that and i believe there is a, an ear in here so let's see if I, we keep it visible so the road will look like it's going inside our ears it will be interesting so i'm gonna do that i really like this idea of the road going through the ear so yeah all right now i want the eye of the model to be visible so to do that we're gonna go back to the video file and then i will select uh, the layer mask of it and again i will be using the same method so i will delete using a black color so i'm just gonna delete this part so you can see the eye of the model and from the nose in here and i think i want the beard to be black so it will match with the forest that we have in here yeah something like this it will looks interesting all right now i think i would go back to the first layer in here and I will delete even more from this part yeah something like that all right now let's go back to the video file and again i will select the layer mask 
and we just hide this house that we just revealed in here. All right, so one last thing that I'm going to do is to add a little bit of adjustment and also I want to add something in the background so I'm gonna use the same video file that I have in here I will add it in the background and I'm gonna blur it and make it black and white so I'm gonna make a copy of the video file by pressing alt or option again and then I'm gonna drag it under this model layer that we have in here and I will delete uh, the layer mask because I want it to be the whole video in here so I'm gonna right click above the layer mask and choose a delete layer mask and as you can see we have the whole video now I will go to image adjustment and I'm gonna choose black and white and you know because it's a smart object I can apply the adjustment in it as a smart filter all right now we have it black and white all right now I'm gonna add the blur to it so we'll go to filter and I will choose blur Gaussian blur and I will add around 7 to 10 radius pixel so I'm gonna keep it 9 and I will press ok and then I will change the blending mode of it to soft light and I will reduce the opacity to around 50% and you can also go back to the the background that we have in here and you know because uh, it's a solid color you can just double click on it and change the color to whatever you want if you want to add more color to it or you know make it brighter I think it would be interesting to add a little bit of color to it or even make it darker as you can see yeah I think this looks really good and it will be okay all right now I will add a level adjustment so we'll select this first layer and I will go to adjustment and I will choose level adjustment and then I will go to the RGB in here and I will choose red and I will add a little bit of colors from this slider that we have in here so just a little bit and I will go to the blue channel and I will do the same add a little bit of colors just like this I think it looks really interesting all right now it's time for us to animate this so I'm gonna open the timeline in here uh, if you can't find it just go to window and choose timeline all right now I will one click on this tiny create video timeline and this will create it but as you can see the video is way longer than uh, the other file except for this uh, level adjustment which is following the duration of the video so you can easily change that by just crop it like this but we're not gonna do the same for the video in here we're gonna adjust it alone because it's a smart object so we're gonna open it by double click on it like this and as you can see it will open in a new tab and I also want to make it loop seamlessly so this is the right way to do it to open it in a, a new tab and then adjust it to whatever you want and then save it because it's a smart object and also the video I'm using as you can see it will start from the morning and then it will end in night and because it's uh, longer than five seconds if I just use this first part you can't see the, the night part and I want that so I'm gonna start it from here yeah, I think just right about here so we'll just crop this part like this and then I will go to the time in here and I will double click on it and I will put five seconds and we just to be precise it's five seconds like this and I will piece okay now I will crop it again like that and now we have five seconds but it won't uh, loop seamlessly we need to do that so first 
as you can see we have it in here in a, a video group so i'm gonna right click on it and choose ungroup layers so we have only the video in here and then i'm gonna create a copy of this video layer by dragging it to the new layer icon and now i'm gonna select this copy that we just created and that will go just right about the middle just right about here and i will cut it and now we have two parts so now we know that the last frame of this part will match the first frame of this part so i'm gonna select this part and put it to start from the beginning and i will do the same for this second part it will start from the end and then i will go to the middle of this part just right about here and I will crop it just like that and I will do the same for this other part in here I will go just right about the middle and I will crop it and now I'm going to add a fade transition in the end of this part and a fade transition in the beginning of this part so I will go to this transition icon and I will take this fade and I will drag it to the end of this part and I will do the same for the beginning of this part and now if I preview it by one click on this play button you can see it will loop seamlessly as you can see alright now I will close this tab and I will make sure to press yes to save the changes in the smart object and now we have the time matching with every layer in here so let me put the time to 5 seconds and now we can preview it and see it in action and as you can see it looks really good so now it's time for us to save it so we'll see how to save it as a gif or a gif format and we're gonna also see how to save it as a video so in case you want to uh, publish it on instagram and of course we know that instagram doesn't allow a gif format so we're gonna do that so let me stop this and then I will go to file export and I will choose save for web legacy so we're gonna see how to save it as a GIF or a GIF format so we're gonna wait for it to progress all right so it's finished progressing now as you can see it's a really large file and if we save it like this it will be around 53 megabytes which is really not good for the web so uh, the first thing that I'm going to do is to put down the size of it to 600 and I will one click outside of it to apply my changes and again I will wait for it to progress as you can see alright as you can see it's already smaller for the web so uh, the preset that I'm using here is of course you need to choose a GIF format or GIF format and for the color uh, algorithm I have in here perceptual selected and diffusion in the second one and just uncheck transparency because we don't have any transparency in here and for the colors uh, it's actually up to you if you want to use 128 the size will be reduced but also the colors will be reduced for me I keep it 200 56 because I have a lot of colors in here and I want it to be uh, in a really good uh, color setting and for the dither uh, I put 100% and white in the matte and in the web snap 0% and for the lossy you can put around 10 to 20 so I think I'm gonna put about 20 and you, you know just keep everything else the same and click save and you know give it a name so I'm gonna name it busy exposure and I will click save all right now let's go and preview the GIF that we just created so I will open it and there we go we have a really good GIF format that is ready for the web all right now let's see how to render it as a video so again I will head to file export and I'm gonna choose render video and I will give it a name first so I'm gonna name it busy exposure again and you know just select a folder so I'm gonna select the same folder in here 
and for the format I'm using is H264 I think it's the best one and the presets of course high quality you can change it to medium if you want the size to be reduced and you know just keep everything in here the same and click render and again we're gonna wait for it to progress all right now let's go and see our video which is this one so let's play it and there we go we have a really good double exposure animation that is ready for instagram but seriously follow me on instagram all right so i hope that you enjoyed and you like this tutorial and it was a little bit helpful for you don't forget to subscribe and comment and you know let me know if you try this effect i would love to see your result and have a nice day thank you for watching Thank you.